Hello and welcome back to Tarbot Nest Lighthouse in the northeast coast of Scotland. If you never saw the last episode, feel free to check it out because it sort of runs up to where we are right now. And right now we are at golden hour. And I wasn't sure whether anything was going to happen here and I'm still not 100% sure either. But we're starting to get some nice light over here, which is starting to hit the lighthouse and we're starting to get some interesting potential anyway for some interesting photographs. I've just taken a shot here of, of the gateway with the lighthouse behind it just to give us some perspective of where we are and I quite like it but I've got another image idea in my head which I'm now going to shoot from this angle here and hopefully we'll get some nice some better light as uh, the, the hour or so progresses but even though even if we don't get some stunning 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 light it's so beautiful here tonight and I'm pretty much the only person here which makes it even more special For those of you who watch my channel regularly, you will know that I sometimes like to mess around with my images and put myself in them to give the image some perspective or some scale or just to add some human element to that image. So what I've just been doing is, as this is the third tallest lighthouse in Scotland, I'll need to find out which of the two above it. That would be quite cool to go and visit them. But because this is the third tallest in Scotland, I've just been taking some images of me at the bottom pointing up to the lighthouse to really give it some scale. And I wasn't expecting the scale to look as good as it does because I am literally literally tiny at the bottom of the frame pointing up to the lighthouse and it really shows how tall this lighthouse is because although I'm standing here right now and looking up at it and I can tell that it is really tall you really don't get a sense for that really until you put something in the image to scale against it and having me in the image against the wall with a lighthouse you can really see how tall it is and a tip and a hint that I've given many times on this channel but just to add something more interesting and to add scale to your image do not be afraid to use yourself you don't have to do a selfie I very rarely do selfies it's all about putting your body your full body in the frame to give it some scale and if it's the back of you nobody's gonna see your face just, you know, often as photographers we like to be behind the camera but putting ourselves in the frame and looking away and just having our bodies for scale it can just, it's just something, can, it just adds something a little bit more special and it gives you a personal memento as well to, to take home from your trip that's what I think anyway enjoy this image because I really really like it I've now come down to these rocks that are sort of at the bottom of the lighthouse on the opposite end to where I was earlier and there's more opportunities here than where there was in, in the last video but I'm, I'm still struggling to find a really good foreground, a really good composition, a really good leading line but I have found some interest in these rocks here I've just been running around pretty much, putting my tripod in different positions, different areas, trying to find a really nice leading line or something of some interest that just captures this image and, and makes it pop. It's not been easy tonight as you will have seen in the last video. There's The light's not turned out to be as good as I'd hoped it would be. The tide is out meaning that a lot of the, the long exposure images I'd hoped to create aren't possible and um, I'm really just struggling to find some foreground interest, some like leading lines like I said but this is what is so great about this in many ways and what's so great about landscape photography is this idea that you never know what you're going to be greeted with and it's nights like these that, that the most challenging nights that you often learn the most and that you often find yourself actually sitting quite a bit and just staring and admiring the view what you can't see right now is obviously you can see this gorgeous lighthouse behind me but what you can't see is that I'm sitting here right now overlooking this the stunning sea, I'm listening to it lapping around me, listening to the waves crashing in, although it's a pretty still night despite the fact that it's been very windy today but it seems to have calmed down now, but just listening to that, the water and the waves and it's just so peaceful and relaxing, but as I've always said and as I will always keep saying, I would not be here right now and I would not be enjoying this if it wasn't for landscape photography and it's so peaceful. 
What's not to love about this? Seriously. Outdoors, beautiful scenery, stunning sounds, your senses are just ignited. You hear things, you see things that you wouldn't normally, and it's just stunning. So, so beautiful. But I suppose I should get back to the photography and try and get this image that I'm picturing in my head and try and make it a reality. I think I've possibly struck gold with this next image. Unfortunately, we are pretty much at sunset now and there's nothing happening, nothing happening, which is a real, real shame because the forecast for tonight looked very promising. I mean, there might still be an afterglow or, or whatnot, but I'm, I'm not gonna bank on it, I'm not, I'm not gonna rely on it. And that's why I'm really excited about this image that I've just taken. I've not looked at it yet. Camera's there, it's just taking the image. But what I've done is I found this pool of water here, which has got, you know, the lighthouse reflecting on it lighthouse above there, portrait mode again. Tonight seems to all be about portraits, which is really good actually, because it's a unique, I think, side of photography that not many people do when it comes to landscapes, but you can really add something interesting to your images by using portrait mode from time to time. But what, what I'm doing here is obviously I've got the reflection on here of, of the lighthouse. Unfortunately, the water is very, you know, brown and, and murky, as you can see. But by putting my polarising filter on and not turning it completely round, I don't want to completely get rid of the reflections, but turning it enough to, to get rid of some of it means that some of this horrible, um, this horrible brown colour has disappeared a little bit, which is really good. And I've also put on my 10 stop filter to you know, give me a long exposure image of about 25 seconds. And I've also put on a soft edge neutral density filter as well, just because the sky is quite a bit lighter than the rest of the image. And through doing this, I hope that I've struck gold and I've created an image that's gonna be atmospheric, interesting, and something that little bit different. Let me have a look at it now. It's a bit too dark, I'm going to have to retake it, but I think this is going to be a winner. There wasn't enough light to take that image over 25 to 30 seconds as I'd hoped, so I've ended up having to put it on bulb mode and taking a photo over two minutes. And this is the first time I've done a photograph over about 40, 50 seconds long for a long time, and I am loving it. I am really liking this image. And I think it's amazing tonight because I think what's, you know, and it, it's so refreshing tonight because this is the second video I filmed this evening from this location, as you will know if you watched the first one. And this is the first time in ages that I've been out of my camera and I've really been happy with the images I've taken. I mean, that may change when I get home. I'm sure you all know that sometimes images look great in camera and rubbish on the computer or vice versa. But I really hope and pray that these images tonight are as good on the computer and as good on the screens for you guys right now as they are to the eye and the camera because I am, I'm over the moon with these images tonight. This is the first time in a long time that I've had the time to come out on my own and just shoot away for hours on end without having to be anywhere else, having to care about anything else and just immersing myself fully in a landscape and fully in a location. And that's what's been so great about tonight. I got here three hours before sunset. Normally I'm, I get to a location maybe an hour before sunset, maybe an hour and a half sometimes. But having that time tonight just to sit and immerse myself in, in the atmosphere and the environment and just enjoy it, it's so, so refreshing. You know, if you go out with your camera, especially in the, in the summer evenings, finish work, get out there, you can be out for hours before the sun sets. And even once the sun sets, it's stunning. Like last night I was out until half past midnight doing wildlife surveys and stuff with Ed. And after we'd done the wildlife survey, we ended up staying out for ages because we had a bat detector on us and we were looking and hearing for bats. But while we were doing that, these clouds appeared. Now, I can't remember how you pronounce it. It begins with N, I'll put it on the screen now. But you only get these clouds at like in like June and it only happens if the weather is a certain way and they were beautiful. Now, I've seen photographs of these online for years but I've never seen them with my own eyes. Or I have, but I haven't known what they were until last night and it was such a great experience. It would have made a great video but, you know, I wasn't out to film a video. I was just out to enjoy nature and do some survey work. But, um, you know, the point I'm trying to make here is in these long summer, summer evenings if you if you're off work the next day 
or if you don't start work till later. Get out as soon as you've had your tea and spend hours in a location. Spend hours immersing yourself in that location, watching the light change and even once the sun has set, if it's a nice calm evening, just stay out because you don't know what you're going to see. The stars will appear, these clouds might appear, there's nature all around you and it is so peaceful and so tranquil and if you're in somewhere that's rural or somewhere that's you know got a lot of trees or a lot of nature around you some of the noises you can hear in the evening like deer and foxes and you know birds and bats it's just it's a time of the day when so many others are tucked up in bed but you're out there and it is just it's very eye-opening and it's very beautiful to enjoy but enough about that I just wanted to, to add that into this video as a little thought for you all. Let's show you this two minute image that I've just taken here and hopefully it's turned out as stunning on the computer as it looks in camera. completely pack up my gear and head back to, to Taro Farmhouse where I'm staying tonight which by the way beautiful B&B only been operating for three months but it's owned by a lovely lovely young Australian couple so many personal touches and it's like really secluded in the middle of the country it's stunning I just wanted to come admire this view and as always just say to you a huge thank you for watching really really appreciate it I hope you've enjoyed this episode I hope you've liked the photographs as much as I've enjoyed taking them and I'll hopefully see you all again next time. Yeah.